we uh, want to begin today with the news out of Winter Park and the Vikings practice and the injury to quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. This happened this afternoon uh, during the team's normal practice at Winter Park in Eden Prairie. An ambulance had to take uh, Bridgewater off the field and took him to the hospital. We have team coverage this evening. Mark Rosen has more on what this could mean for the team and also uh, Coach Mike Zimmer's reaction. But we want to begin with Mike Max, who was actually there at practice when this happened. And Maxie, my goodness, in uh, just a blink of an eye, we went from a lot of optimism to a, a whole different team. Yeah, for sure, Frank. And it's just a very difficult to digest in the immediate aftermath of it. It was a non-contact injury. He was fading back to pass, and his knee gave way. The way players reacted, the emotions of it told you this was a serious injury, and it became a very surreal scene out here at Winter Park today. Players anguished, and it's not unusual for a player to get injured or to get carted off the field. It is very unusual when they're taken off by ambulance. That told you really all you needed to know about it. I'm told that inside the locker room, players were punching walls. They were exercising on the bikes, doing anything they could to release energy. Because while they don't know the exact diagnosis, they know this. Teddy Bridgewater's knee injury is a very serious injury. Okay, today uh, Teddy suffered a significant in knee injury. Uh, we don't know the extent of it yet. He's going through tests over at the hospital. Well, they sedated him, and they are putting him through. He's an MRI right, right this second. Is there any hope he plays this season? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it doesn't look good right now. Doesn't look good right now, and they expect it. There's no one that expects Teddy Bridgewater will play again this season. They just don't know the exact diagnosis. More on that in the future. But, of course, Mark Rose and the Minnesota Vikings have a season to play, and Sean Hill is a backup quarterback, and now they need to move on and move on quickly. Yeah, Max, you're right. Such is the life in the National Football League. I think uh, we didn't hear from uh, the, the soundbite from Mike Zimmer as well, when he got real emotional, too, saying, you know, Teddy, everybody loves this kid. I love this kid. The entire fan base loves this kid. And you could tell it, more than just the starting quarterback, it's more like a father-son relationship that Mike Zimmer has with Teddy Bridgewater. Yes, the season will go on. And the Vikings feel they have a very good football team, but the impact of Teddy Bridgewater cannot be minimized. Without Bridgewater, he's actually the one player I think the Vikings just could not afford to lose, and that includes Adrian Peterson, given the significance of what Teddy Bridgewater means to this football team. Uh, the time allotted for the media to tape practice was already up when Bridgewater and team drills, as Maxie said, took, just took a step backwards. No one stepped on his foot. In fact, there was no contact, which is hard to believe. His teammates as slammed their helmets on the ground. They were heard cursing. And just in shock, NFL players are accustomed to seeing injuries, but not like this. Not without contact, not on a play that's been run dozens of times a week. Mike Zimmer immediately canceled that practice and did come out about an hour later to address the media. The thing we have to all remember is this is about the team. This isn't about a one-man deal. You know, we all feel terrible if it, if, if it is significant, real significant for Teddy. But uh, this is about team we have a good team we have a good defensive team we have we have our offensive line is much better we have good receivers we have is maybe the best running back in in the nfl so this is about this is about a team and it's about us trying to figure out ways to win football games they're gonna have to find out ways to, to uh, win football games and the next preseason game their final preseason game is thursday night here against the la rams a game that uh teddy bridgewater none of the starters were going to play in anyway and right now 15-year veteran Sean Hill is the starting quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. Rookie Joel Stavi of Wisconsin is the backup. And where the Vikings and general manager Rick Spielman look for another quarterback is anyone's guess right now. This is also the same day that veteran center John Sullivan was released by the Minnesota Vikings. So uh, that was supposed to be the headline today. But obviously the loss of Teddy Bridgewater likely for the season takes precedent over anything else. Well, continuing coverage, of course, on our newscast coming up at 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock tonight as well. So let's throw it back to uh, Frank and Amelia. All right. All right. Thanks, Rosie.